hello in this video we will discuss about the properties of electric field and we will see why electric field lines never intersect this is very important concept so you must understand as we know electric field lines are nothing but the graphical representation of electric field due to a charge in the space so to draw the electric field lines we find the direction of electric field intensity vector at different points around the charge and make a plot that's all electric field lines electric field lines due to a single point positive charge can easily be calculated at different points in the space using coulomb's law and the method as i explained in earlier slide so if you find the direction of electric field intensity vector at different points and plot it you will notice that it is radially outward and emanating from the charge so this is electric field lines because of a point charge see here this is a point charge and if you put a unit test charge at any point this point positive charge will repel the test charge and therefore the electric field line because of the point positive charge is radially outward and emanating from the point positive charge similar is the case with negative charge if you keep negative charge and place a unit test charge anywhere in the space anywhere in the space then this negative charge will attract the unit test charge and therefore the electric field line because of negative charge negative point charge mind the word point charge this is very important to mention point charge so the electric field lines due to this negative point charge will be radially inward and terminating at this negative charge similarly if we take a positive charge and a negative charge separated by some distance then we can find the electric field lines using the same methodology like if you put a unit test charge here the force because of this positive charge will be along the line joining this so this will be the direction of force on the test charge put here and similarly for the negative charge the force will be like this so if you take the resultant of both the forces it will be along the tangent drawn at this point so you can see here the electric field lines because of a set of a positive and negative charge will look like this electric properties of electric field lines now we will discuss about some properties of electric field lines so as we have seen in the earlier slide the tangent at any particular point on the electric field lines gives the direction of the resultant electric field at that particular point so if you want to find the direction of electric field lines at this point what you need to do is to just draw a tangent at this point the direction of tangent will give you the direction of electric field intensity vector at that point so this is one of the property of electric field lines another most important property of electric field line is that they never intersect each other so the question arises why don't they intersect the answer is very easy let's assume the two electric field lines are intersecting this is one electric field line and this one is another electric field line let's say they are intersecting at point p so as discussed if we draw a tangent at this point p then one tangent will be like this and another tangent will be like this mind here that both the tangents are corresponding to the two electric field lines so what we see at a particular point p there are existing two electric field lines which is not possible because at a point there can exist only one electric field intensity vector this is the reason electric field intensity vector sorry this is the reason electric field lines never intersect hope you understand the point if you don't i am again repeating notice that the two electric field lines are intersecting here at point p so you can draw a tangent at this point p like this and like this so 
as discussed in the earlier slide the tangent at any particular point on the electric field line gives the net electric field intensity vector at that gives the direction of net electric field intensity vector at that particular point so here there are existing two electric field intensity vector at a single point which is not possible this is the reason two electric field lines never intersect you are suggested to visit electricalbaba.com to read more interesting electrical engineering topics thank you